Hello everyone! We're just making this video to show that my daughter Candace and my son Junior is helping me out in fixing the cylinders. Well actually we're just doing a valve lapping service on this one. So we're rebuilding the whole engine. Okay, so see here? This one is an FB20. Um, FB20 from a Subaru Forester. Uh, this is one of my mate's car. So yeah, we're just going to help out. Um, I'm almost done with the with the engine. Okay, I only have one piece in left, and then afterwards that I'm going to torque the connecting rod bolts. Uh, but we'll probably show that later. But for now, I'm just going to show how my daughter helps out, helps me out in in lapping these um, engine valves. Hey Candace, so what um, engine valves are, are you at already? I'm already at the tent. At the tent, so basically she's already done the, the first cylinder head. She's done that um, with my, under my supervision. So yeah, uh, what's that you're applying on? A clover compound. Yeah, or a grinding compound, so yeah. yeah. Okay, I'm already done that the then one. Okay. I just need to inspect it. Okay. So, do you think that's enough? Okay, I'm already finished at the 10th one. Okay, um, what are we looking at there, Candace? Could you show it to us? So, okay. <coughs> I don't know if the camera will show that, but I'm going to try to zooming it in. Okay, so you see? So, what you're after is basically uh, these, um, the valve face on this one, uh, we're actually grinding it to fit in here on the valve seat properly. So as you will notice, um, let's say for example, this is an unfinished one. You'll see that um, it's a little bit shiny, everything. Look, um, the original problem was is that um, uh, basically this is um, blowing up smoke and everything. So I just recommended to my mate that uh, we just replace the rings and we just replace um, the building the overhauling kit and then we do that and um, we service the heads should be all right uh, we've done the cylinder head re refer resurface uh, resurface already on this one um, and as you will see there I don't know if the camera as you will see there the valve seat face um, turned a little bit matte or grayish if you get what I'm saying so yeah that's all right that's good enough there's um, and compared to here that's a uh, finished one still shiny and everything so she just have to go through um, a bit of um, lapping on all the valves the rest of the valves and yeah 
that should be alright and um, I guess on my part I'm just going to try and fit in tonight the 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 last piston on this one and go from there okay so yeah uh, we're about to uh, put this last piston um, to the engine block before we could close up the oil sump okay take off the connecting rods caps okay that goes there um, look for some people they use um, they put in um, light film oil but me I would probably prefer to to use um, a light um, grease film uh, on the bearing caps okay oil or grease I think it doesn't matter or if you want we'll just put a drop of oil as well yep so easy easy as now uh, just to remind you there's actually a side for this uh, for the engine block and also you'll see here on top of the piston um, there's a there's a punch here that states that this actually goes to the uh, front of the engine okay so yeah and also there's a certain procedure on the where to position the piston ring and caps before you put it in on the vehicle one rule is is that you don't you don't align the first and the second ring with each other that's a no-no okay so that's one thing to remember me I, I would most likely put the top ring on the um, on the side uh, on the upper side of the engine and the second compression ring on the lower part of the engine so that's how I'm going to put it um, well that's me okay um, as much as possible refer everything to to the repair manuals manufacturers repair manual so yeah should be alright put some light oil here okay okay you do that squish it around okay so this one goes here first compression ring goes here second compression ring points here okay and the oil control rings the end gap is here let me just turn this a little bit here okay so end gap there Oop, that went out okay awesome now let's do this okay so I've already put the light oil here so normally I just um, squeeze it in like that or okay okay everything set then we use the piston ring compressor so there are a lot of um, uh, styles of piston ring compress compressors in the industry but this is what I have in the workshop so basically this is what I'm going to use okay set it in align it one more okay should be all right Let's grab a okay now we align it a little bit and strike it all right can we gotta press this a little bit more one more Come on, mate. Okay. Here you go. And last thing to do, 
so this is the let's make sure everything's everything's aligned there Yeah, yeah, we'll talk later. Let me just finish this work, okay? okay. One second one, we'll just turn the engine a bit. So we could finish off the third one as well. Okay, that's done. We still have to torque this later. Okay, and the last bowl. Okay. Okay. So yeah. Um. We'll put everything back together, torque it. Um, I'll probably make a second video for this one just to uh, put the cylinder heads and everything all together before I put it in the vehicle. Alrighty, thank you.